Hey everybody, Ezra here for the Rideshare Guy, and today we're gonna go out there and charge a whole bunch of scooters. It's summertime here in Los Angeles. Gonna see what things are like in the scooter game right now, charging some bird and some lime scooters. You know, these scooters are in a lot of cities right now. So I'm gonna go out and got my friend's pickup truck, go see how many we can charge, how much money we can earn. Let's get after it. Now, in case you're not familiar with scooter rental apps, they all work in pretty much the same way. Riders use the map to find a scooter and can then unlock it using the app and ride to their destination. On the worker side, some companies like Uber and Lyft actually use hourly employees to pick up, move, and service their scooters. Bird and Lime rely mostly on contractors for this. Workers use the map to locate the scooters and scan them in. Some of these scooters just need to be moved, but others need to be recharged and then deployed early in the morning. I'm actually gonna be charging my Birds and Limes in this little container back here called Perch. And Perch is a little charging station that you can rent by the day. You can share it with another charger. You can rent it by the week and get a discount. But it's really cool because cool. one thing I always hated about charging birds and limes was bringing them home. They take up a lot of room, they're dirty, they make a lot of noise if you have neighbors. And in a really densely populated place like Los Angeles, where people do ride these birds and limes, people who are charging them, uh, like me, we're generally not gonna have huge garages at our homes or you know, just big empty rooms to charge in them. So having a place like Perch where you can stash all of your birds and limes and charge them, and comes with all the power supplies and everything else you need is really cool. They have an app too, um, so you can actually reserve your space through the app. It's like, they make it totally self-service, which is pretty, pretty cool. It's cool. a little bit after eight o'clock, so I think there are some birds and limes out there on the streets. Let's go find some, let's get after it. So I just found and captured my first bird of the night. Got it right over here. It is one of the new bird ones, so it has an enormous battery, which means it takes a while to charge. Currently it's at 29%. It's a uh, $6 payout on this bird. I figured it'll probably take like four hours to charge this one. Anyway, let's load it up into the back of the truck and go find some more. All right, I just found my first lime of the night. It only pays out 350. It's right over there. There's Alfredo, he's the director of security. We got some guy jamming on the saxophone over here. Kenny G style. Let's load this thing up and go find some more. So I just found my fourth bird. It's just after nine o'clock, gonna load this up and go find some more. A couple limes right here and a nice view of downtown LA. So I just found another lime. I am up to five birds and five limes, 10 scooters total. Truck's getting uh, pretty filled up. I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, head back to Perch and plug these guys into charge and then go back out and find some more. I got eight scooters loaded up. I'm gonna go ahead and take these other two limes that I just have to drop off. They're just transport limes. Get rid of those. All right, so I just served up four transport limes over here at this hub. So those are just limes that just needed to be moved to a central location, didn't need to be charged. Got 14 bucks, 350 for each, so that's pretty cool. cool. It is almost 11 o'clock. I uh, just found a bird. Right now I got three more birds and a lime in the back of the truck here. It's definitely getting a lot harder to find these birds and limes. You know, I'm going to the spots on the map where they're supposed to be. I'm even using the Scooter Map app, which is this really cool app that- Cool. Uh, compiles all the different scooters from different companies like Bird and Lime into one app so you can look for them all on one map, which is really cool. But um, what's not cool is I'm just having trouble finding the scooters. So I got six in the back right now and I'm on my way to try to find a bird. This is a really steep hill right here. We found the lime. Something kind of cool, it's a new feature on the Lime app, is you can actually reserve a Lime to pick up for 30 minutes, and that's what I did on that one. Uh, because it's super annoying, this happens to me all the time with Bird and also with the Wheels bikes. Um, and it used to happen to me all the time with Lime too. It still happens to me sometimes with Lime, but basically, you'll be on your way to pick up a scooter, you'll see it, you'll be walking up to it, and someone will run right in front of you. Or maybe you'll be a couple blocks away and somebody will, will scan it then. So you just waste all this time driving uh, to go pick up a scooter 
and then somebody else gets it before you can even get there. I think I got eight in the back right now and then eight charging. So if I can find five more, that would be awesome. Um, we'll see what we can do. So I'm on my way back to the uh, perch charging station. Um, just gotta go and get these all unloaded and then go get them all charged up. I got all my birds and limes loaded up into the perch container here. I was actually one charger short. It was like there was one cable that was stuck and I couldn't get to it. But thankfully there's another charger here, Tiffany, who is wonderfully knowledgeable and helped me by hooking me up with a charger. So that was awesome really appreciate that um, it seems like there is a nice community here at perch which is pretty cool but I have everything charging up um, I'm gonna try to release these all by 7 a.m. it's about 1 now so I'm gonna go home get a few hours of sleep come back here about 5 a.m. five hours later all right it's about 5 30 in the morning right now I'm about to open up my perch container it uses a little fingerprint sensor padlock which is pretty cool I think I'm gonna do two trips um, I'll probably load the birds first I noticed in my line map, there's one that looks like it's not charging. So I'm gonna try to plug that one back in. Let's get this truck loaded up and get on our way. Hamburger helper. Hey, is that cheeseburger, Mac? Ooh, delish in the dish. So I got all my birds loaded up. Um, one of them was stuck at 93%. Sometimes they don't pay you if it's not charged above 95. I uh, reported it that, you know, that was the issue, but hopefully I'll still get paid. And then I had a lime that wasn't charging for some reason. Um, so you know, I made sure that one's plugged in. It was at like 79%, so it probably won't get to 95 by the time I come back here, but who knows. So I just dropped off three birds. Um, the other closest nests are a little drive, like a mile to the next one. Just dropped off three more birds over here. Of course, a bird puts a nest right where there's not even enough room to stop. So thankfully there's no traffic here. All right, so this nest has some parking. It actually has a nice loading zone sign. But these loading zones, um, you can use them for commercial loading, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Um, and outside of that, you can actually park in them and just use them for free parking. So I just got three more birds and one damaged bird. I'm gonna save the damaged bird for after I drop off the limes. I'm gonna get back to the perch spot right now and go pick up the limes. All right, I got some good news. The uh, lime that wasn't fully charged, I checked my app and it's at like 96%, so we should be good to go on that one. So I'll get paid for that. 623 right now. So I have 37 minutes to get all these limes loaded up and released. Should be able to do it. I don't think it'll be much of a problem. Definitely a good workout. Man. So I just reserved a lime hub maybe half a mile away. It looks like there were a bunch of them available. So let's go drop them off. That's the sound of money in the morning. Of course, there have been uh, zero security and safety issues thanks to the uh, canine security force we got over here. It's keeping everybody in check. That's it for the limes. Uh, just the one damaged bird. Let's go get rid of that thing. And it's 644, by the way. Plenty of time to spare. Like releasing the scooters in the morning and deploying them so much easier than finding them and picking them up. Sometimes you're not gonna find them at all. Um, and secondly, you're usually not gonna find them in groups of three and four. So that's really the hard part. The easy part is releasing them. It takes like maybe one third the time or, or even less as finding them and capturing them. Got all my birds and limes dropped off with about seven minutes to spare before 7 a.m. Um, you know, the 7 a.m. deadline isn't so strict, at least with bird, I don't think. With lime, it might be, I'm not really sure. I never like to find out because finding out might mean you might not get paid. 
Um, so I always try to get those dropped off. Uh, but it was, it was a pretty cool experience using the uh, perch charging station and doing some birds and limes. There's obviously a lot of scooter business out there to be had. Um, you know, a lot of scooters to be picked up if you want to do it. Uh, it's not the most glamorous work. You get dirty. It is a pretty good workout though. Um, but uh, yeah. So how you doing? How you doing? Are you filming? He's like, uh, you know, you're facing the wrong direction, right? And I'm like. Yeah, but it seems like around here pretty much anything goes and I when I was pulling up I was like, you know I could do a u-turn or I could just pull in the wrong way like a boss So that's what I decided to do but the um, the perch charging station was definitely cool I'd much rather use something like that than bring these dirty scooters into my home making all this noise making a mess um, Bringing them in and out. It's much nicer to use something like that where it's just dedicated for business purposes and then I also transported those four lines where I just moved them Bird has a transport thing too, but theirs seems to pay way less. Like the limes were three fifty each. When I looked at the birds, they were like a dollar fifty or two dollars each. So I didn't even bother trying to go pick those up. I didn't drive too many miles. You know, when you're doing scooter pickups and drop offs, it's not like rideshare. You're barely driving any miles. All you need is a crappy pickup truck, which is nice. Time to go get a little bit of rest because I didn't get much sleep last night. And then we'll break down all the numbers on the expenses and the earnings. So if we look at the numbers, my total earnings for the night were $122.09 with $72.27 coming from Bird for charging 13 scooters and $49.82 from Lime for charging seven and moving five scooters. I used the Stride Drive app, which is free to track my mileage and time. It looks like I spent four and a half hours at night looking for scooters and bringing them back to Perch to plug in. And then in the morning, it took me about an hour 20 to unload the container and drop off the 20 scooters at various locations. In total, I drove about 37 miles for an estimated deduction of 2152 and spent just under six hours working. Renting a perch spot like the one we use with 21 power supplies would cost about $35 per 24 hours. So you'd probably want to either share it with another charger 12 hours on 12 hours off or use it for at least two charging cycles per day in order to get your money's worth. My gross hourly earnings were $20.87 and subtracting the mileage deduction and $17.50 for a half day at perch would bring that down to $14.20 per hour. Keep in mind that there are plenty of chargers who know how to work much, much more efficiently than me. And I was also recording this video while I worked. So that took some additional time as well. Hourly earnings are generally going to be a bit lower with scooters versus rideshare, but keep in mind that vehicle costs should also be a lot lower because you only need a crappy pickup truck and you don't need to cover a lot of miles. Scooter charging also allows you to work at pretty consistent hours overnight if that appeals to you. You can check the video description below to find our affiliate links for Scooter Map, Stride Drive, and Perch, all apps and services that I think provide great value to a lot of chargers out there. I hope you enjoyed the ride coming along and charging some scooters with me. If you did enjoy this video, please smash that thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel. We cover everything related to rideshare and mobility here on the Rideshare Guy channel. If you have any comments or questions, please post them below. I'd love to hear from you and find out what your experience charging scooters has been like if you've done it, wherever you're watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day out there and I'll see you next time. Cool.